Hello on Friday the 28th of July. Well, I do hope that all of those who've gone to orbit are having a really good time. Although I don't think they're going to have quite as good weather as we did have last year. Our opening prayer. God of the living word, open our ears to your message. Open our eyes to see your wonders. Open our hearts to experience your love and open our minds to your wisdom today and every day. Amen. Today's readings are Jeremiah chapter 30 verses 12 to 22 and Psalm 19. It's so easy to forget the massive strides which have taken place in medical science over recent years. We quickly take them for granted. It almost comes as a surprise when someone says to you that the illness they have is incurable. How can that be? We find ourselves thinking. I think that at present it's things like motor neurons disease and Alzheimer's which are the most high profile of the uh, illnesses which are considered incurable conditions. And we still of course have hope and pray for a miracle cure. Today we find God by a Jeremiah speaking to the Israelites through a medical image. He's telling them about a positive miracle cure which is going to take place sometime in the future. In many ways, the situation the Israelites have got themselves into may well be viewed like a terminal condition. The wrong they have done in the past and have still been doing in the present is so great that there may well seem as though there is no chance of restoration and recovery. But God is going to do what God only can do. He tells them that things are about to change. In time, he will restore them. And this will include the rebuilding of their cities and communities so that they can return to live there. And because this seems impossible for the Israelites who are hearing this word, when it does happen, there can no longer be any doubt about who it is who is in fact their God, the only true God. We come to our next prayer. Loving Lord, you are tender towards your children and your mercy is over all your works. Heal the memories of hurt and failure and help us to follow your wise guidance and use in a right way the time we have here on earth. Amen. For our prayer points today, and our prayer points are going to link into things which are seemingly impossible. Let's first of all pray for a reversal in climate change. Then pray for lasting peace throughout the world and pray for an end to any form of exploitation. The Lord's Prayer, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The first
first week of the summer holidays is coming to an end and I hope that it has been a good time for all of you and our blessing. God fill your hearts with his love and give you courage to proclaim his kingdom and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you now and forevermore.